some days it could be 18 hours. I've been doing this for a long time and nobody has more fun than we do. We've been doing this so long and we've worked so well together that we all know what we're doing on a game day. Everything's prep work like it's the day before. 90% of the time it's the four of us, Pat, Brian, myself, and Brian Marshall. We kind of take our same roles and jobs every time we get to a city and get inside the building. Our defined role is to make sure that the players are on the ice comfortable as possible. The coaches are ready, the staff's ready. Our trunks are built and designed for a six game trip. So when we go on a one game trip, we're actually ready for a six game trip. Things that can happen in a six game trip can all happen in one game. So you have to be prepared for every situation. We travel with three. One stays home because there's a lot going on at home too. Um, you know, players are back home, shipments are coming in. So that job is just as important as the three that are on the road. There's three stick bags, nine big trunks, two skate sharpeners, 25 player bags, seven coaches bags, sandal bag, shoe bag, and then all our extra equipment compartment bags, which is about six or seven. We have a game jersey of every Abbotsford player so that if we are to make a call up, it uh, doesn't matter which player we call up, uh, we have a game jersey for them. When we land, we all get in the truck and we drive to the rink. Is the room open? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make for sure the coaches are done because they're the first guys here, but that's tomorrow. So, all set and ready to go. Red does the change room usually when we get in. Shoes on the top, sandals on the bottom, so when they're wet, they don't grip on the shoes. And by the time Brian and I and Pat are done with the player gear, uh, the change room's done, and we just do the all odds and ends from there. Okay, we're good to go tomorrow. It's kind of like a race within ourselves. We always try to beat our, our last time. We like to say about an hour, hour and a half would be from when we get in the building to when we're done. We try to keep everything as similar as possible for the players. They're all about routines, so setting up the stalls the exact same way. Every city is usually what we try to do. Everything faces the right certain way, whether it be skates face left, shoes face left, if they're in the stalls. Oh, it's always the same when the player walks in, there's nothing missing or they don't have to look too far. We kind of try to mix it all together, like when Kuzmenko was first year to know English, we kind of put him with Mikheyev. Kind of make sure everyone's comfortable and, and at home it's a little different, but on the road usually everyone's sitting beside the same person. During the game, the socks will get holes in them. So we repair the holes with a material that will cover the sock so you don't see the hole. It's harder at home because the socks are blue and the shin pads are white. So you really notice the holes. Whereas on the road, luckily, most shin pads are white. When you're on the road, uh, pregame skates are 11.30, so uh, so the staff bus will leave at 8.30, and we're here till about 12.31. We come back on the staff bus, which is 3.30 for a seven o'clock game. So there's there's two buses for the players. We're, uh, we're a good hour ahead of them. Some days it could be 18 hours, I mean, if you're including flight time and that, but it's a good dozen plus hours a day. After the second, Red and the fellows will start uh, moving all the extra stuff, on, loading onto the truck, and then uh, whatever we need or can be packed, we'll, we'll pack in that period of time. From the time that the game's over till the time where it wheels up is hour to an hour and a half, depending on how close the airport is. I love 
love the guys I work with, and I love coming to a city and seeing guys that do the same thing we do. You know, getting to know those guys and seeing guys you see once or twice a year. I think the most rewarding part is getting through the game and players are happy, and I think we say the players don't say anything, it's a good night. It's very gratifying, it's, uh, it's fun. It's, uh, nobody has more fun than, uh, than we do. We work with great people, and um, you can't take that away. Thank you.